Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best web application to practice your bug bounty hunting on. I get asked regularly, what is the most realistic web application out there that is vulnerable that I can practice my hacking skills on? Jushop is probably the most vulnerable web application ever made. It is a vulnerable every which way you turn, but it's also different than DVWA and also BWAP because it is made to be more realistic. You don't actually select any kind of vulnerability that you want to test. You have a web application and you are supposed to go out and just test it every way you can and submit the flags and it will actually pop down with the flag with a little green banner. So it is probably the best place to practice. Now I want to show you how to install it. There are two different ways to install it. One, you can install it on your local machine and it's totally free. It takes about three to four minutes to set up. And the other way is to make a try hack me account. And that also takes by three to four minutes to set up. So let's go ahead and check these out. Okay. So I actually will have this link right here for you down in the description, but if you're watching this in the future, just know these versions are going to change and the node JS version might change, but that doesn't really matter. So the first thing I want you to do is install a couple of things. So you're going to type in node dash dash version and if this is the first time you've ever ran this little command right here no dash dash version it's going to ask you would you like to install it and you're going to tell it yes you want to install it and you might have to retype it with sudo or you can type in sudo apt install node and then after it's done installing you can just type in no dash dash version to check out your version okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cd over to our desktop because i guess that's a good place to put this file and we're going to type we're going to grab this newest version right here and then we're going to look for the one that matches our version so we can type in this node dash dash version and we're running version 18 so we're going to look for one that has version 18 node that runs on linux these are all darwin windows linux 18 right here this is the one we'll want to download and so we want to download this and I often run into the problem. We'll just stop this right here with SourceForge. It doesn't like to actually download anything. So we can just copy this right here. That is paste. We'll copy this and we'll just do a wget on this and make sure you leave this download out or it's going to grab the wrong file. So we're actually done with this. We can stop that. And this is going to take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and let this run and then I'll restart the video. Okay, so that has finished now. And if we run an LS, we should have this juice shop right here, just like this. And we're going to unzip it by typing in tar dash XVZF and then the file. And this is gonna unload a, a lot of files. It'll look really scary, but it's not a big deal. And then we're going to CD into the juice shop file. And then we're gonna run NPM start. And if this is the first time you've ever ran NPM also, then you're going to have to install it as well. And this should kick off our server for us. And it is done. And it says it's listening on port 3000. So we can come up to the top and type in localhost 3000 and run it and it will kick off the juice shop application for us and if you want to use burp suite with this you're going to have to come up here and type in i think it's about config and adjust the config files i don't remember the exact file that we need to modify but you can just google it and it'll tell you real quick it'll tell you which one you need to adjust but since that's out of the scope of this video we're going to go ahead and close this server and we're going to check out try hack me now so try Acme also, you can run Juice Shop as well, and I'm not sure if it costs any money or not. It might be free. I think it is. Um, but the way to get there is you just create an account, and then you will come to a search, and you're going to just type in Juice Shop right here, and it will pop up for you. And we're going to launch the instance and start the machine. You'll also have to connect through a VPN in order to get this to work. So what you would do is the same thing you would with Hack the Box. What you'll do is you'll click the access machine and you'll download the VPN and then you'll come over here to your downloads and connect to the VPN. Okay, and so this is actually pretty easy at this point. You just copy this now that it's up. We paste it in here and it will take us to the exact same juice shop page and i believe burp actually will start working right away yeah it does you don't have to adjust any config files 
or anything like that. But here you have to make an account and the other way you can just run it on your local machine. So that is two different ways to practice bug bunny hunting for free. And I think JuShop is the most realistic application to practice your bug bounty hunting on. Thanks for watching.